Hello Drawing Club friends! How are we all today? A big thank you to everybody who voted in the survey. Uh, about half of you said you wanted to draw gymnasts, so that's what we're going to do today. I have um, got to be honest with you, this is quite a challenge for me. I'm not a gymnast myself, so I, I don't have a very clear idea in my head of the different shapes that we might make with our bodies when we're doing gymnastics. So I'm going to work from a picture. I've got this little picture here of a little boy doing a crab. I'll put that there. So you can see as I'm working how I use the picture and um, uh, what that gives me. So let's start by thinking about the basic shape and I like if I'm drawing from a photograph I like to start with a curved line that gives a sense of energy in the picture so the curved line here is quite obvious it's going to come up and round like this and I'm going to try and make my curved line the same shape so he's got his feet over here and his hands over here and the curved line that joins them up goes kind of like that it isn't exactly like that we'll get it more accurate as we go along it's not totally symmetrical he's got this is a straighter line here than over at the front of the curve so I've done that in my curve as well then we start to build the body of the gymnast around it and true to form I'm going to start in the middle I can see his waistband on his shorts there isn't quite at the top of the curve it's more over here so I'm going to start by putting in that line and that's going to give me a little bit of a reference point then I would think about drawing the legs and our legs aren't made of curves our legs are kind of made of straight lines because our bones in our legs are great big long bones and our legs are straight so we need to think about how that works with this curve and I can see his knee is kind of about here so it's a straight line to his knee and then another straight line that kind of comes down to his ankle and then I would just fill in the foot the straight line that I was using for guidance into more of a leg shape so I've got his ankle that's more of a curved back of his leg and then the top of his leg there and that's starting to look a bit more like it the next part of this curve that I need to fill in is partly his body and partly his arms and I look at that picture and I look at this curve and I think I've got arms kind of to there and their body from there so let's think about what those arms look like he's got his hands which are backwards and again our bones in our arms big straight lines so we need to be thinking about where those bones are this one is coming more up and then kind of back into that curve coming up and back into that curve and it's a very funny position to be in isn't it sort of upside down like this in a crab and then where that joins the body I see this great big shape that comes round where his sort of leotard is so I'm going to draw that in as a sort of building block for my picture and then I'm going to sort of just connect up his arms and his legs because his body is a curve that's not straight lines like the bones of your arm that's your spine it's really really flexible so that can just be as curvy as that needs to be his chest kind of comes up here so I'll try and get that in the picture as well and then down and curves into that now I know what you're thinking my sister you've forgotten something where's his head so that's coming next when I look at his head I can't actually see his face his arm is in the way so I can't see his face at all I can see a little bit of his neck and a little bit of his chin it comes poking out there and then what I can see behind all of this is mostly sort of shaggy hair isn't it so I get a sense of the basic shape of the head 
and then turn that into nice shaggy lockdown hair. We've all got way too much hair during lockdown, don't we? Maybe I'll put the lips in as well. Now, it's starting to get there, and I think the next thing I would do is take out this guideline that formed the basis of my picture. So I've started with that line, but I don't really need it anymore. At the moment, it's not helping my picture, so I get rid of it. then we can add in a little bit more detail. He's not just got one leg, he's got two. So we draw that following the shape, same shape, but just a little bit behind. Like that. And the same goes for his arm. You can actually see his other hand sticking out there. But most of his arm is actually covered up by his head, so we can see a little bit there, but we can't see any at the other side. And then it's time to put on some details and more information about the clothing. I love these wristbands that he's got on, I think they really make him look like a fantastic gymnast. So I'll put those in. I like his leotard, so I'm going to put more detail on my leotard. Maybe you do gymnastics, maybe you want to draw you in your leotard and what that looks like that on there and he's got his shorts and again we draw the shorts just a little bit bigger than the legs because they're not like clinging super close to the body so that's my gymnast I think I'm pretty happy with him just to remind you of the steps the first thing I did was chose a picture and identified the main curve in that picture the second thing I did was start to flesh that out and I started by thinking about the straight lines in it, the bones in our arms and legs and how those angles were going to fit down that curve and then I did the body to join it all up. After that I added in some, I added his head and then after that I put in some detail on his clothing. I'd love to see your gymnasts, I'd love it if you could send me your work. Um, love to see lots of different gymnastics, maybe some that are based on pictures of you doing gymnastics, that would be particularly fantastic. See you soon guys, bye bye.